Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy Monday. I hope that you are feeling swell because you are swell yourself. That's right. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about Jess Fam and her Halloween party and her knees. She's got weird looking knees because Jess just is extra. You know, she's a sweaty try hard and she's trying too hard and she's not young anymore, but she's like, I'm in my mom era. Like we're going to look at that for sure. So let's take a look at it. So as the opener said, Jess fam is apparently in her mom era, according to Reddit here, posted by pub public drummer. She's wearing panties and a shirt that you can see through. It's great. In front of pictures of her children. So classy. Her and Kira are like besties. They don't even know it yet. Well, they are. They're kind of friends, actually, in real life. In love with my mom era. Also obsessed with white fox boutique. In what do you mean your mom era? You've been a mom since you were 17. Now you're doing mom? Okay. I don't understand this whole, I'm in my era. I guess I'm in my snark era then, right? I guess. Anyway, let's take a look at this dumbass Halloween party. I'm, I'm shook until two in the morning, one hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the laugh, you know? It's like when, it's when Alicia sings at Costco. It's that, and then when like, Kira cackles, ka, 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 ka. Oh, Preston said something funny. Ha, ha, ha. Get out of here, this bullshit. Morning and welcome to what is going to be our fifth annual Jess Jam Halloween party. <laughs> Stop spinning. We are setting up, it is currently the day before. That's how much prep we're doing. I, the more I'm on the internet, and it sucks because, you know, I have to be monitoring situations and people send me videos. Every influencer in the world does this. I mean, like, we're totally, like, I'm going to tell you guys a little tea, some secrets. Here's my story time. Here's my skin. Stop doing this. When did this, dude, stop. This is going to be the biggest party yet, you guys. And we are currently standing in our garage, which you might have never seen empty. Honestly, we've had so much stuff in here. And as you guys know, if you've been following our journey. The Just Fam clap. Oh man. You know when she gets in a public argument because she does all the time, she claps on their face like, you get away from it. <laughs> at this Chinese restaurants, she does that at Panda Express. You know she claps in between words because she knows that pisses people off. Hey, we recently moved into a new house and we're about to turn this space into a house. This is gonna be a three bedroom, two bath space. Like it's a good idea actually. Construction hasn't quite started. We're you mean hasn't started at all? So you cleaned it out. That's not starting construction. Okay. Just so you're aware, in order to turn that into a house, it's going to cost her $60,000 probably, depending on her contractor. They got to dig out the concrete to put in the roughing for the plumbing. Okay, that's going to cost a lot of money. I had to do that in my bathroom, apparently. They plumbed, they roughed in my downstairs bathroom wrong. <laughs> I know, right? Like, I didn't want to say anything because it's so sad. <laughs> but they roughed my bathroom in wrong. My extra bathroom, my fourth bathroom, they roughed it in. That's what you all sound like when you complain about stupid shit. I'm not complaining. I'm saying they roughed it in wrong and I'm about to repair it because I'm a hands on guy and I'm learning how to plumb. Mark is literally teaching me how to plumb, to do plumbing. I don't know if it's how to plumb, but I'm learning because Mark knows everything and I'm learning. And my neighbor, my awesome new neighbor, he's also a contractor. Coolest guy in the entire world, by the way. I like him a lot. He's super cool. He also is teaching me all the cool things. He comes to my house, like, here's what you gotta do, here's what you gotta do. He's like, oh, you need tools? He brings me all of his tools. He's the coolest guy ever. And he doesn't watch this stuff, so I can say that. We're in the middle of building a soccer field out here, which I was hoping would be done for the party. How do you build a soccer field? Don't you just cut the grass? It gets to play on, but it's not quite done. Build a soccer field. So that's fine. They're working on it out there, and as soon as- I'm building an ice rink this winter, because I have a big enough property now, and it is going to be fire. I'm telling you, fire, a huge ice rink. I'm talking 40 feet by like 80 feet. That's how big it's going to be. And I'm going to teach myself how to stop on skates because I can skate just fine. I just can't stop. Kathy keeps trying to teach me. I used to be able to when I was young, but I can't do it anymore. So she's going to teach me this year. And I'm going to time lapse myself learning how to stop. If you guys get to see me potentially die, that'll be fine. Can't be hitting my head anymore though. I can't do that. 
done with that, we're gonna get started in here, which means I have 1,200 square feet of emptiness. Wow. So, it's a huge garage. Originally, I started setting up in our backyard for this party. I'm like, you know what? I've thrown many parties before. I know how to set it up back here until I checked the weather. It is not only gonna be freezing cold tomorrow, but it's also- You're in California freezing cold? Who's dropping pipes? It's gonna be insanely windy. This is gonna- You're windy in your brain. There's no brain in there, it's wind. See what I did there? Quite the burn, I know. Like Josh, where do you come up with these things? They just, it happens. It just comes to me and I burn it. Be our first Halloween party where the weather is going to be bad. Actually, I don't know, I feel like there might've been another year where it rained, but. So we have made the decision to bring the party from outside. How does she have friends? It's really weird to me that she has a lot. I think it's the kids families that are invited, right? They come out, they start, and then they get into Jess. This here said, here's the sequence of Jess fam's friends world. Here's how it works, okay? She invites kids' friends out. She makes friends with the kids' friends' parents. And then they become part of the world and Jess fam, come and make a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'll teach you. Make two cents. And they all do this and then they get ostracized because they don't like Jess fam. Jess fam is tall. Like when I first covered my first video on Jess fam, I'm like, she seems kind of cool. I said that out loud. She was all completely done up and stuff and she's like, she looked cool. I'm like, that's how it works. That's how she gets you. But then you start hanging out with her and then you're like, I don't like her. I just, she's a bit much. Cause at first a bit much is fine. Cause you could take it in spurts, but not later. Especially when she approached you for threesomes and things like that. And then you start watching her videos and you start realizing, oh, I don't like her. And then that's what happens. So Jess Femme doesn't have any real friends, except for Sunkissed butt crack. And I don't even know if a Sunkissed toe jam even wants to be around her anymore. I think she's there for a little bit just so they can keep up appearances, but I don't think they're really close anymore. We're still gonna have some parts of it outside. You'll have to stay tuned to see, but we're gonna set up the bulk of it inside here. Because why not? We have a big empty space. It's shaded. It's perfect for wind. Shaded from the cold. Shaded from the wind. It shaded from the dumb. That's what I am. I'm shaded from the dumb. It's already a little bit spooky. It's just bones. We have, you know, prime spider webs that we purchased from Target up in that corner over there. I'm kidding. They're real. I did. You're dumb. Just blow out this entire thing. I got yeah, you did. A blower, and I went to town, so it's still a little bit dusty in here. So we got the. You didn't do it. Bulk of it covered, and now it's time to start our transformation. We have been prepping for this Halloween party for a really long time, and we're currently. <laughs> Imagine your whole life was prepping for a Halloween party. This is your life. A little. Does she get any views on this one? I'm not sure. Let's see here. So biggest party I've ever hosted. She only got 51,000 views. Oh, her views are down. Dude, she's collapsing into oblivion. And she, she posts every about three days, every three or four days. She's not uh, doing so well. You okay there, Jess? You okay? She's gained 20,000 subs. She's still gaining. She got about 12 million views. So she's making, it depends on how many views. I wish it could sort on here, which ones are from shorts and which ones are from long form videos because shorts don't make any money. They make you almost nothing. And same in TikTok. They make it is almost nothing. So 12 million of those views, I bet you more than, I guess I could just do the math myself and figure it out, but she's not making a lot of money is what I'm saying. She used to make tons and tons and tons of money. She's still on a regular growth set. It's not like she's collapsing like Doherty doesn't though, but she's definitely not making as much as she used to. But over 24 hours away from the biggest party yet. And my battery's gonna die. That's a great way to start. You're a battery. Holy, look at the size of that thing. Holy, they're renting it. Imagine your friends with Jess just because she has cool parties. No, I'm not saying this isn't a cool party because it's fun to go to cool parties, I guess. I don't know. I don't go to parties, but you know what I'm saying? Neighborhood parties and stuff. Jess is like, I'm famous because my parties, but then you don't have any friends after the parties. See you know what I'm saying? You know, that's the type of friend she is. So I wonder if she knows that. She knows it. I wonder if it hurts her deep in her soul. It, it does. But she's okay with that. Jess is like so narcissistic. Narcissistic people love to be in their own worlds. They, they're, own, they're their own best friends anyway. So it doesn't really bother them that they are, don't wear clothes that fit or that nobody really likes them. They only come for their parties. But sometimes they probably wake up and they're like, nobody likes me. I'm a loser. <laughs> I should have dressed up as Jess fan for Halloween. We have similar body types. You know what I'm saying? This is looking amazing. 
amazing. I can't believe us. All right. Is it? It's a couple tables and stuff. We've been on Relax. an update. Relax. Here we are now. How many hours? All right. Yeah. Here's my stupid angle. All right. All right. 19 hours. <laughs> Hey, Sunkissed Hemorrhoids is here. What's going on, girl? How you doing? Is that what you were in at the party? <laughs> okay, Sunkissed back knee. <laughs> like that, and let me just show you where we're at. It's coming together better than I could have ever imagined. thing is that Sunkissed doesn't have any acne. Jess Femme has the back knee and the butt knee. You know she's got butt knee, right? Butt sits. Yeah, I get butt sits too. In the summer when it's really hot and I'm working outside a lot, I get butt sits. Anybody else? Just me? Okay. This is where the food is gonna go. Over here, we just got the stage delivered. That's the stage for the Mesa's putting on a performance. That looks like a table. Uh, over here, we're gonna have, you have to use your imagination a little bit, but over here, we're gonna have a photo booth area. We've got the stage, some photo ops. Over here, we've got the bar area, which is actually our only like done area. That this is a this is this an adult party or a kid's party? Like, do you have kid's parties with booze at them sometimes? I don't know, I'm, out of, I'm not in touch, I don't do I've never done this. Do people actually bring their kids to a drink party? Is that smart? I mean, barbecues happen. People drink barbecues, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, at the moment. I love our bar. It's so good. Like, we've spent hours. Like Kiko was like, I hate this lady. Hate her. Because of her, we moved from the most luxurious, beautiful place on earth, Hawaii. Hawaii! As Sunkiss Crunchberries would say. They moved to this garbage place, and they live in a tiny little garbage house and they won't make any money. He has to work full time now. Remember though, she was going to retire her husband. Getting over this, you guys. <laughs> How's that going for you, retiree? We're actually going to switch out this with a black light. That's our plan. We've got Mr. Spider-Man. That's just a spider. It's not a man. Suzanne. So Susie, and if she's acting up, her name is Suzanne. Suzanne? <laughs> oh, I hate that lady right there. What's her face? Joanne or whatever her name is. I don't like her. <laughs> Suzanne's got her drink ready for her. Really Look at our sweaters. I go like this. Oh, Hannah. I don't know where I got Joanne from. Going along great. This is the best. She looks like a Joanne, though, right? Who's like, she talks loud in libraries and stuff, you know what I'm saying? That type of person. Eats cereal with a fork. You know? Talks on her phone really loudly in Starbucks. Like, um, why are you having a speakerphone? We can hear your conversation, dickhole. Idea ever. We've got Mr. Boomman over here. Gary Ghost Boy Casper, the friendly ghost. I'm, I'm shook. I'm shook. I feel like Is it iconic, Jess? Is it iconic? In all my years of She says iconic in this, I don't laugh. Throwing seven birthday parties a year and Halloween parties and all the things, it's finally paying off. Like, I finally have the space for my vision to come true. And this is just. Just oh. wait. Okay. Just yeah. wait. Just wait. Yeah. We'll wait. You know what it costs, though. I think Jess thinks this is like, I think she thinks it's like, it is good. She's like, my God, look at this. We're in a garage. Like, oh, right? We've made it. <laughs> no, Jess, it's dumb and you're dumb. This is crazy. Are you sure you want Chris to be at these parties? Because remember what happened at one of the parties? Just saying. How's this guy not been canceled? How's Jess? Like, there's been, there have been people who have, who've been canceled over way less than what Chris has done. And, and, and Janelle admitted it out loud. Just so you're aware. People have been canceled for way less. So, but Jess gets to be celebrated for it. And her friend's like, you go, Chris. Play video games and don't have a job. You're a yas like queen. Right. We're going to put a table up there. Oh, right. Those shoes are not safety shoes. Yeah. Chris is putting on the tunes. And Chris is the worst DJ, too. He's probably Nickelback. Right. Jonas Brothers, Taylor Swift. Come on, play some real Halloween music. Spooky, scary skeletons on repeat. Thriller. That's a good one, right? There's other ones too. I don't know which ones they are, but there's other ones. Oh, um, nice. Nah. After we suck, ah, we weren't even trying. Ah, I, I, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Enough with this freaking crazy music. Those are Christmas lights, not Halloween lights. <laughs> I 
That's gross. Straddling line. You know what else is funny is that she has all her friends always come out and help do all the labor, and then she takes all the credit and calls this Jessica party. <laughs> when it's all of her friends doing all the work. It's the Jessica party. You guys didn't do any of this. All me. I take all credit. What a waste of fabric. The next day, and I just ran some errands. We stayed up until two in the morning last night decorating, and then I had to wake up this morning at. Did you have to wake up? Oh, yeah. At six thirty to get the boys ready for their Halloween soccer tournament. <sighs> She's doing it on purpose, right? She does the clap thing on purpose, right? Because it does make me mad. It is my personal favorite of the year. I'm sure you can't guess why. We've got a total of six games today, 12 games this weekend, and they just finished the first three games. So before the second three games start, I ran some last minute errands to get ready for today. I am so excited, you guys. The party is today is him. Why can't Chris do anything? PM and I, I mean, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 came out, so he's got to play that game. Like, low key freaking out. Like, I just looks like Mr. Noodles. I can't wait to show you what I got for this. Like, we have like all of my Halloween party dreams are coming true with this party. Let me tell you. <laughs> We've got the cost. It makes me irrationally angry. Contest with prizes. Like, <laughs> I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy. Anyway, I gotta head back to the field and watch our last three games, and then I need to head back to the house, do all the last minute uh, stuff, and officially get. <laughs> I'm like, wait, Halloween, I'm like, my shorts don't even fit me. I mean, tell my religion, my pants, everything. I was like, like I, did all, I did all the work, but my friends didn't even help me for Halloween parties. My Halloween parties, Jessica's Halloween party. Like, oh my God, scary Halloween party. Oh God. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's, right. It's like me, me, I, I. Like, that's, and it comes back to my first statement. Like, you want to be a friend initially because, oh, she seems cool. And then this, then you have to have conversations with her and you realize, I'm going to have a panic attack if I have to keep listening to this lady because I didn't absorb anything she just said. Ready? Oh my God. I'm so excited. We are back, you guys. We're just about ready. We have T minus. It's a Halloween party. Why? I guess people like, like to party. Like, there's people like partying, right? I'm not a partier. I don't like going, I don't like going out and doing things. But like, it's... <sighs> I guess it's an excuse to be debaucherous and like party out and like get, I guess some people just aren't happy unless they're like living these things, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. I'm a loser. I'm the boring one here. I know. I understand. One hour and 40 minutes. Into but thumbs up in the chat if you're born like me and just appreciate being boring. Because I don't want to go out to these parties where people are drunk and doing threesomes and stuff. So the party starts and let me give you a look around before we all transform ourselves. That's all that's left. We have completely transformed as you see. Our we saw it yesterday. Garage space. Oh, this ladder's gone. Uh, I hope those indoor, I hope those outdoor heaters aren't staying indoors because you could kill somebody with that, by the way. They're meant to be outdoors. Like you don't even poisoning people, right? You don't want to kill people. Those are for the, you're just storing them inside for now, right? 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 This. We have completely transformed our garage space into a party bar? party garage. <laughs> We've got <laughs> the bar area here. Once all the lights are on, it'll look even better. This yeah, we can't see anything. This is the voting station over here for the costume contest. We that you better vote for me like it's my party. Vote for me to win. Oh my god, you guys voted for me. I didn't even prepare a speech. The trophies and the prizes up there. The photo. Cool Dollar Tree prizes. Food, the snacks. So many snacks. Like nobody's going to be going hungry tonight. And we have a nacho bar. That's pretty cool. Which we actually set up. But unsanitary. In a coffin that I got from the store. So neat. We're going to put out the cheese sauce and stuff here. Your name is cheese sauce. Drinks for the kids. Hangout area with the hats over here. Okay, so those heaters are supposed to be outdoors again remember if i see those heaters indoors i'm calling the cops we have pumpkin paint people gonna die of monoxide poisoning thing for I the think. kids got a ton of mini pumpkins out this way a mechanical pool <laughs> that's right yeah. can you swim in the outdoors in california in the uh, october heard me it's getting late here oh we have instacart rolling up with more why don't you do this? I could do it. You don't have any muscles you're not flexing what are you doing why do you do this Pumpkins, actually. Oh. What are you scratching? Here we have like the fire pit area, and then this at night, you guys, is incredible. I can't wait for you to see that on. Poor Jack, though, has taken quite the fall a few times because the wind out here is crazy today. There's a full like strap it down, then dumb blown wind advisory here until tomorrow. You're a blown wind advisor. Afternoon, so we're really having to make things work here. So now all that's left is to transform ourselves. <laughs> 
When she says ourselves, she means me. Now watch me get ready with my shitty Halloween costume. Check it out. She's so bad at this. She's not good. And the thing is, she's got the confidence of someone who actually does something. You're like, watch this. Like, are you ready? And it's garbage. Absolute trash every year. Are you ready to rumble? Oh. Oh my God. You guys are iconic. Oh. Shrek and Dunk. There it is. Iconic. Donkey. So this is another thing about douchebag family vlogger moms, right? Every kid has to do what the mom wants to do for Halloween. Kids don't get to be what they want to be. It's okay. Here's what we're doing. And you have no say in it. You get to dress as this donkey and you're this guy from, uh, this is a Shrek theme, right? Obviously. Thanks Jess for dressing up terribly. That was terrible. Pop tart bites? Okay. Weirdo. This is why they come over because, like, Jess Fam's having this crazy party and they don't like you, they just want their kids to have fun. That's okay, though. Nothing wrong with that. People drive by like, it's a Halloween. Like, it's... Okay. Do this for Christmas. It was so funny. I'm tripping right now, you guys. I have the best bunch of the night right here. And it's an evolution. We have a series here. Okay? Oh, yeah. This is like... It's yourself. I got two monsters. <laughs> Like this wasn't planned. Like these people totally did it and I didn't talk to them or tell them to do it. Yes, she did. She did. Okay, you guys are going to do this. Okay, you're going to come as me as Halloween because I'm iconic. Right? You're going to do the 17 pregnant just because I wanted to be on the show but I didn't get on it but I admitted it on the internet and told people I didn't though. I lied and I told them to break the law. I remember that when I was in my, in my breaking the law era. Right? Now these are all the eras. Ew. Why would you kiss Jess Fam's ass? Okay? Also, the one at the end probably shouldn't be the one Who's representing her now? It's too skinny. You guys win. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're me. <laughs> like, you win because you're me. Otherwise, it would have been me winning because I'm me. So, congrats for winning. Can you imagine? This is, again, this is just him. This is what she expects from her friends that she is the queen. Yes. Slay. Love you guys. And that's why I don't want to be around her anymore because they're like, well, we don't want to do this all the time. So. <laughs> Also, they're making fun of you. If you don't see it. Okay. Ew. Oh, she brought a dildo to the party with children at it. That's nice. You know, those kids are gonna be here, right? You're gonna walk around with a vibrator. That's nice. And she thinks it's funny. Again, this is the whole Kira situation. It's what she got in a situation. These kids are going to come into their teenage years. I promise you. Her daughter and her children, they're all going to regret all this. The fact that she's got it on the internet, that she has threesomes, that she sells sex toys. All this is coming back to haunt your children, Jess, and you don't even see it coming. Actually, you probably do, and you don't even care. That's what you're going to do. I'm raising my kids to not be bullies, but if they're bullied, I'm going to be like, just don't be bullied. <laughs> Who cares about the choices that I made that, that single you out? Who cares? It's me. It's my party. Okay? F all those kids. But if you're going to bring a vibrator to a children's party, you should probably be arrested. Yeah, yeah, no, this is so cool. But, again, she's, I'm replicating you, Jess, and one of the things I think is memorable about you is that you talk about sex toys and sell sex toys on the internet. That's what they think of her. <laughs> so funny. In two minutes, we're going to have a costume parade. I need to all kids to line up right Oh, my, the voice. So she showed like three seconds of this party. It looks garbagey. Oh, is there a friend missing? Do you notice anyone who's not oh here? Oh my god, go! Also, Fam's neighbor hates her. Fam's neighbor, reach out to me anonymously and give me some, some tea if you'd like. I'd take your tea. Cool, I can't see anybody's costume! Thanks for the tour! 
Get a light for your camera! Hey, you literally can't see anybody. Okay, you should have just put a big light at the end. So you could actually see them! One of those kids wasn't dressed up. That kid's not dressed up. That kid's not dressed up. Okay, can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. So pretty much, I think she just invites the school out. Because she doesn't have any real friends. That makes sense. Soccer team, parents. Hey, come to my Halloween party. Uh, I don't really want this. Free booze, I'm there. Holy shit, it's loud. Nobody wants your dollar store skeleton trophy. Now, if it's a prize for like a hundo, I'm in. Okay, that little microphone she has, my daughter has that microphone. It doesn't work. You suck at this. You guys have a literal PA system there for your music? Just get a microphone. No one's listening to you. See, those are good. that's a good costume. But they won't win, right? Jess Fam who just Jess Fam's friends who dressed up as Jess Fam will win. That's a good costume. Hers is shite. That's crazy. She, she rented that. Ew. These people are gross. <laughs> the mic doesn't work, Alicia! Or whatever. The mic doesn't work, Jess fam, you dummy! She's yelling into the thing, doesn't even work. She sounds like she didn't win, so she's upset. She literally has made millions of dollars on YouTube and can't get a laugh mic to save her life. Can't They can't invest in equipment. It's so crazy to me. These people can make these vlogs a hundred times better just by adding great audio. Just that one thing. Put up a couple of still cameras up in the corners. Capture that stuff. I mean, she captured her kids almost dying jumping into a concrete pool, but can't Think ahead on how to do great because they don't they don't want to do great content. They're good with making crappy stuff because they don't need to worry about it. And hear anything because your audio sucks. Of course, she's giving the children prime energy drinks for prizes. Don't drink prime; it's garbage. It's hot garbage too. This is rigged. Those kids' costumes aren't that good. <laughs> Josh, you're roasting kids! No, I'm roasting their garbage costumes at one. There's probably way better costumes there. <laughs> of course, Lily wins. <laughs> ah, she's Ken, got it? We're so, like, advanced and, like, we're... We're just... That's who we are. Of course, all Just Fam's kids win. <laughs> it's not rigged. <laughs> She shuts the music off for this one, right? Eh? Because you gotta get the adult one in. <laughs> Obviously, the Jesses win. Obviously. <laughs> that guy had the girl that dressed up as Beetlejuice was way better than this crap. But it's because, like, you have to understand it's Jess fan, right? Half these people don't even know who she really is at this party. They're just coming from the school or whatever. They don't know who, what the, who, who, is, who are they dressed as? They're asking. Oh, they're dressed as the host. Who? That's what they're saying, like, who, this is rigged, and they leave all pissed. I put white makeup all over him, Beetlejuice. <laughs> what a bunch of rigged losers. <laughs> Terrible costume. And again, one of them is literally walking around with a vibrator in her hands with children. What's that? That's okay, don't worry about it. I'm Jess Fam in her vibrator era. Did you know she likes threesomes and she's a debaucherous sex fiend? <laughs> That's what I am, that era. <laughs> right? Is that guy the Jamaican flag? Also, you should never be able to win a costume party with a purchased 
Halloween costume. I know. I know. Unless it's like a purse costume and then it's like applied like tons of like good makeup and effects and all that stuff. Just my take. If you purchased it, that's cheating. <laughs> Sunkissed butt cream one for what? What costume is that? What is she? How did she win? What is she? She looks like a trash. She looks like Euro trash. What is this? How does she win? Sunkissed cheater. <laughs> wow. Garbage. Straight hot garbage that was. Here you go, everybody. Just fam's Halloween party. I can't ache. She always does this. The lead up to the party is like, look at this. And then she just shows like, there's not really that much fun. Jess is just like walking around screaming at people. That's the party. Yay. Terrible. Terrible. As always, Jess, get wrecked. Butthole. I wonder if Jess's butthole hair is red. Ew. Can't believe I put that image in my head. Anyway, take a deep breath after that. Thank you for being here, guys. Thanks for being amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you forget it. You need to be here. I hope your Thanksgiving plans are popping. Christmas decorations are up. Christmas tree's going up tomorrow for me. I'm excited. We always put our tree up after November 11th, which is when we honor our fallen and our soldiers and our veterans and stuff. So um, I'm excited about that. And I'm excited for you to have a great holiday season. And we're excited to get rid of this mustache, are we not? We are. I have to shave this one more time because it's fully not mustache yet. I got to trim it down so we get the full effect of the mustache. Because you guys love the stash. Don't even lie. Thumbs up if you like the stash. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I see you. <laughs>